<laughs> well, what a way to open that video. Somebody walking by cussing. This is the main temple for the Chogye denomination, the largest denomination of Buddhism in Korea. Today is uh, a Buddha's coming day, uh, also called Buddha's birthday. And it's very busy today, very crowded. As you can imagine, it is a big, big holiday. We have a couple of monks right here. I don't know what they're doing, but they have earpieces. And there are a lot of cops up and down this street. to the uh, Chogyo Order Temple, the main temple, in 10 years for Buddha's birthday. Um, because 10 years ago, 2003, I came here and then when I went back to the people who were watching my dog, my dog was dead. Well, not dead, but we had to take him and put him down. He, had, he was in a car accident while I was here. And ever since then, I've been kind of, I have bad memories, I have bad associations with coming here on Buddha's birthday. Jake was the best dog I ever had in my life, and when he was gone, I was just devastated. Um, I probably still haven't gotten over it completely, really. I mean, how can you get over it uh, completely? Why are people taking a picture of me? I don't know. I just realized something. <laughs> I'm wearing my CNN hat that I got at the... Uh, I got a coffee mug and a cap when I took a tour of the uh, CNN Center in Atlanta a few years ago. Uh, so maybe people think that uh, I'm here uh, for CNN. <laughs> Hope I don't get in trouble for that. They sell these. They sell these at the gift shop at CNN Center. So I don't think you should get in trouble for wearing one. I'm not pretending to be anything. Just holding a camera and talking to it. <laughs> You can probably tell by their behavior that they're Christians. It's kind of a perennial problem in Korea is uh, on Buddha's birthday the Christians come out in force to try to disrupt Buddhist celebrations and Buddhist pilgrims. I thought they were going to crack down on it and try to control the Christians a little better so that they would behave themselves on this holiday. Maybe they have cracked down. Maybe that's the most that they can do. You can't really shut people up in a free country, but goodness gracious, you'd think, you'd think that they would at least try to be civil. Very often they're not. I mean, I'm not talking about that particularly. I am, but I am, the Christians do sometimes do very disruptive things on Buddha's birthday. some kind of scuffle over there where the uh, the Christians are holding their demonstration I don't know if it would involve the Christians but honestly at this stage I wouldn't be surprised
Okay, I, uh, this traffic is terrible, so I just got off the bus and walk. I'm, I'm walking probably 10, 15 times faster than the bus was going. So you'll remember from uh, Dongguk University videos in the past, the lanterns have names on them. I'm not quite sure why. People are waiting in line to go pay their respects at the, uh, the main part of the temple. Have your picture taken with the Buddha. So this was my day visiting two temples in South Korea. Uh, I visited uh, Chogyesa in Seoul and then I came over here to Yongjusa, which is uh, it's in Hwasong city outside of Suwon. Uh, I had a good time and I hope that you did too, following me along all day. Alright, thanks for watching everybody.